hackers at it again. This time they've stolen classified communications, exposing secret conversations between world leaders, including ones that President Xi was having about President Trump. Trace Gallagher takes us inside this story today and the stunning details of what they found and posted. Hi, Trace. Mm. Hi, Martha. These were not top secret diplomatic communications from the European Union that were hacked. Instead, lower level classified documents and memos were intercepted, but they still offer very compelling fly on the wall insight into how some world leaders are dealing with President Trump. Chinese President Xi Jinping compared what he called Trump's bullying of Beijing to a quote, no rules freestyle boxing match. But Xi also vowed to stand his ground, saying his country, quote, would not submit to bullying from the the United States, even if a trade war hurt everybody because China was not a backward country anymore. The memos also show, show European diplomats described a meeting between President Trump and President Vladimir Putin as, quote, successful at least for Putin. Then there are the U.S.-EU back-channel communications. For example, following the Helsinki meeting in July, European diplomats talked about damage control efforts by the White House after President Trump went off script during a joint news conference with Putin and said he would allow Russians to question former U.S. diplomats in exchange for Americans being allowed to interrogate Russians who'd been indicted by special counsel Robert Mueller. White House officials assured the European Europeans that Mr. Trump's agreement would be, quote, nipped down to prevent Americans from being questioned. The hacked memos also included conversations with leaders in Saudi Arabia and Israel. The EU won't comment on the intercepted documents except to say this. Watch. All communication systems have vulnerabilities, so we're constantly dealing with this uh, challenge, upgrading our communications uh, systems to respond to the uh, threats. The EU left out the fact that it has been warned for years that its aging communication system was an easy target. And experts say there is little doubt this is the work of China's People's Liberation Army, otherwise known as the Chinese government. Martha. Trace, thank you very much.